What happened to the boy? The Taliban took him. At 10 years old, Ali Danish Bakhtiari played the role of Sohrab in the 2007 film The Kite Runner. In the film, Sohrab, an orphan, endures horrific abuses, his parents murdered by the Taliban. For Afghan-born actors like Bakhtiari, the Taliban are far from fiction. His real family fled the Taliban rule in Afghanistan when he was a child in the late 1990s. I was one of uh, the nine children of my uh, parents. After the Taliban were ousted by a NATO-led coalition in 2001, Ali's family returned home, a move that led to his role in The Kite Runner, which provided an unflinching portrayal of Taliban rule. But in August 2021, American troops withdrew from Afghanistan, and Bakhtiari had to run for his life again. We were hearing on the news that uh, each province were like uh, being seized by Taliban day after day. We never thought that Kabul will, would fall that quick. Fearing retaliation from the Taliban because of his work on the Kite Runner, Bakhtiari decided to use his U.S. connections and reached out to a Paramount Pictures producer pleading for help. I personally was thinking that Taliban would come and would just, you know, arrest me and just uh, persecute me or even kill me. Bakhtiari says Paramount arranged transportation and helped his family get to Hamid Karzai Airport amid the chaos, including a fellow kite runner actor through a secret entrance and onto a plane. Living under the fear is one side of the equation and the other side is like, you know, not having any hope. And for many Afghans, that hope is dwindling. In 2021, more than one and a quarter million Afghan refugees fled the country, according to the UN. I think things will get worse before they get better. Experts say without attention from the West, the sense of quiet desperation has escalated for those who remain in Afghanistan and those who sought refuge in neighboring countries. The attention uh, that Afghanistan co once commanded is completely gone. Nobody really sees it on their radar screen. You don't hear it being mentioned in the G20. You don't see it mentioned in re-election campaigns. But Bakhtiari, now 26, still has hope for the future of his homeland. Afghanistan's government will become prosperous again. It will become, uh, democracy will, uh, will, will dominate the country once again. And it's not going to be that long. In the meantime, Bakhtiari, a recipient of a scholarship for displaced students at Columbia University in New York, pursues a master's degree in civil engineering, hoping someday to help the people of Afghanistan. Keith Kosinski for VOA News, New York.